Hi, this is a basic web scraping demo using DataForge Notebook and the NPM Libraries Request Promise and Cheerio. My name is Ashley Davis and I'm the developer of DataForge Notebook and author of the book Data Wrangling with JavaScript. The DataForge Notebook Early Access Program is open now and you can register your interest at www.dataforgenotebook.com. What I want to do with web scraping is I want to visit this web page here uh, on the Wall Street Journal to the Commonwealth Bank of Australia and I want to extract the stock price. I'm starting here with a, a, a blank notebook in DataForge Notebook. This is just the default thing you get when you start it. You can run this to see that it works. It just prints Hello World basically. So I'm just going to delete that, start again. First thing I need is a library to make the request to the web server. I'm going to use Request Promise. Now I'm going to make a request. I'm going to await the response. I need to know the URL, so I'm going to copy and paste the URL from the browser here. So that'll get me what I need. Lastly, I need to display the response, just so I can see that you know, the data I'm getting is correct. I'm going to run the code. Now when you run code in DataForge Notebook and you need an NPM library, it's going to automatically download that for you. There's no manual installation of libraries. Now what you can see it's here, it's output a big, just a big dump of HTML. That's not very useful like that. But what I can do to make this a little bit more easy to understand is I can use the .html function on, on display. Um, and it will actually render the HTML so that we can view it. Now the nice thing here, um, in, in order to figure out how to, how to extract this uh, stock price value, I can open the dev tools. And I can use the dev tools to hone in on the data that I'm looking for. You can see I'm progressively narrowing it down here. It takes a little little while, but it's not too hard. I think that's it. That's it. So we've got it. So basically I've got an ID here, quote underscore val, that I can use to extract that data from the website. So what I'm going to do here I want to start a new cell now, so I'm going to output my HTML response so I can use it in the next cell. And I'll just run that again to make sure that I've got my output. I'm going to start a new cell now. Now the first thing I want to do here is I want to pull in my HTML from the previous cell. I'm going to pull in the Cheerio library from NPM, and now that's also going to be automatically installed for us. I'm going to load my HTML up into Cheerio and I'm going to assign that to the dollar variable. Now the reason I'm using the dollar variable is that because that's going to make this seem very much like we're using jQuery and CSS selectors like you would use them with jQuery in order to access our data. Now I've got some code here, it's going to pull this value out. And from memory it was hash quote val. That'll get me the text value out from, from that web page, from that HTML. Probably want that actually as a number so I can use it in code. So I'm going to parse it as a float, a number. And I'm going to just, at the end, I'm just going to display that to see what I got. Wow, I got it. So we'll just check that that looks like that. $73.27. I'm just refreshing the web page. See, the stock price is changing all, all the time, so we can't get the exact price. Um, but when I ran that code, that was the price, and it's actually changed since then, so it's, uh, the price is actually dropping at the moment. So this has been a basic demonstration of how to do web scraping using DataForge Notebook. So what's the advantage of using code to do this? Why, why don't you just manually load up the web page and copy the value out? Well, when we do this using code, we can make the results scalable. So I've got some code here that now that might be a basis that I can use for scaling up all the companies on the stock market. So I could potentially run this for all two and a half thousand companies on the Australian stock market and get all their current prices. And that's something that would be very, very difficult to do manually. Thanks for watching and uh, don't forget to sign up for the DataForge Notebook Early Access Program at dataforgenotebook.com.
Thank you. Bye-bye.